Hi, hello. I'm Dr. Gardner. I don't think we've met before. Hello. Um, hello, Doctor. I am glad to finally get to see you. We've been waiting for an hour. We I'm really need to get this sorted as soon as possible. My mother cannot see very well, so I have to drive her here. But we're going away for a couple of days for a wedding in France tonight, so we're in a bit of a rush. Right, okay. Uh, what can I help you with uh, this morning? Yes, yes, I'm feeling okay, but since a couple of days ago, I started having a bit of sore throat. This morning, I developed this cough. Okay, and prior to this morning, how were you feeling? I feel okay, okay most of the time, but this cough... Okay. Uh, My mother had exactly the same thing last year. Right. It started just like this. A couple of days of sore throat, then a cough. But then she became really very ill with a high temperature fever. I had to take a day off work to take her to the hospital. They gave her antibiotics and she immediately got better. So all she needs is some antibiotics this time. Okay. I, I hear what you're saying. But what we often see is with this kind of illness, things settle down by themselves in the most case. It sounds like you had a bad experience last time, but I think it would be worth trying some simple treatments like painkillers and some fluids and some rest first. Uh, I'm, I just ask your daughter if she knows about whether you've been coughing up any phlegm or not. Do you know? Why do we need to wait until things get worse? Her immune system is not very strong, as you can see. There's no point that her suffer through this. All we need is some of the biopsies. Sure, no, I understand that. And, and if the, um, uh, the reason I'm asking these extra questions, and I know you're in a hurry, but the reason I'm asking these questions is because actually, very often, a cough is, is caused by a virus rather than a bacteria. Even if it is just a virus, mm -hmm. isn't it better? that we give her some antibiotics to help her immune system. Well, that, unfortunately, that's not how antibiotics work. They don't, um, they, they don't boost the immune system. They Please, can you give us the antibiotic prescription now? And we will only use it if things get worse. As I say, I, I don't think that's necessary right now. Um, Sometimes we can do delayed prescriptions, but you know I've examined your your mum right now, and she looks fine to me. And I think this is a virus. Doctor, maybe you can give us a prescription, but we will only collect it if my mum gets worse. <laughs> okay, it seems like that's something you're both absolutely fixed on having. We can arrange for a prescription that you can pick up tomorrow or the next day if things are getting worse. Reassuring as I can, I do not think that there this is... This is so unfair. It's going to ruin our holiday. I'm going to take this up with the local health authority. I think you are unfairly denying medicine to my mother. Okay, I appreciate your concern. Thank you for your feedback. Um, I, I do think that the best medical practice at the moment is to manage this conservatively for now. My mother worked and paid national health insurance all her life. Now look at what's happening. Sure, I, I mean this has got uh, in no way uh, to do with your mother's health insurance payouts. Uh, I believe this is the best medical practice at the moment for your mum. I think the use of antibiotics in terms of the risk and the side effects that they can produce, such as resistance to future chest infections or problems with the stomach, mean that it's probably better to not prescribe them and to seek medical attention in France should things get worse, which I'm not expecting. They say on the news that old people are just invisible, not treated with respect by the NHS. Okay, I appreciate your concerns. Thank you very much for sharing. I suppose that this is all government cuts to the NHS, but that's just an excuse. You could give us the antibiotics if you wanted to. Well, I don't think it would be good clinical medicine, um, as I've explained before. Um, I, I 
very sorry to have to cut the conversation short. Um, the reception have asked me to see the next patient as an emergency. I truly wish you have a, have a good holiday. And if you develop chest pain, shortness of breath, or a change in the colour of the sputum that you're producing, I do think you should seek medical attention while you're away.